that it's not just the Sindhu Saraswati civilization that had a modern sewerage because we have found evidence of modern sewerage in uh, Takshashila, Delhi, Ujjain, Arikamedu, Arikamedu in southern India, in Tamil Nadu, uh, where they even had industrial wastewater uh, uh, disposal. They had that. Uh, it was Arikamedu was a well-known center for textiles and they had uh, contacts with the Roman civilization and they had also a good uh, sewerage system. But let's remember that the majority of the people in India, they, they were rural and uh, they lived far uh, away from the city. So they used uh, the practice of open uh, uh, this uh, defecation. Open doesn't mean open, it would be covered. Once they did the job, they would be covered and uh, the feces would be covered and it will be returned to nature. But after the Muslim occupation of India in the 11th century, then you know it, uh, it became common for, to have harems in the forts and the women were not allowed to go out anymore for uh, you know, answering the call of nature. That's when the toilets started getting built within the forts. And then uh, it has been uh, speculated that the practice of manual scavenging, you know, picking up the excreta from the toilet, throwing it, all that probably started got intensified during that period. So, and typically they used captured slaves to do, do this job. And that caused a lot of problems. Ooh.